What is up you beautiful people? Thanks for coming into my channel for my very first Sustainable Sunday segment here on YouTube. It's something that I've been doing on Instagram for a while now and I've gotten really good response from it so I just wanted to extend it out to my new YouTube family. I had something different um, as far as content planned for you guys today but then I started delving in to edit, edit the footage and I wasn't really happy with it. Uh, I am hell-bent on putting quality uh, content out there for you guys. So that's why I'm doing this video here in the woods for you. Um, I just thought that I would put together a few sustainable uh, hacks that I have transferred over to in my house away from conventional products and into more sustainable eco-friendly products. So let's just jump right into it. We do not need a handful of people doing zero waste perfectly. We need millions of people doing it imperfectly. So in school we were taught to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And it's important to remember that order. First, we reduce. Think about what it is that you're buying. Do you really need it? Do you know where it comes from? Was it sourced sustainably? Where, whatever it is that you're buying, is it going to bring you joy or happiness? You know, this is really important to remember right now being that this, all of the stores are like ravaged clean from all different kinds of products across the board um, for this COVID-19, you know, emergency. Um, so just maybe a little food for thought this week when you go to the store. Do you really need it? And are you leaving enough for others? <laughs> Um, but secondly, we reuse. When you buy something, think about where it's going to eventually end up. Um, I have started being more mindful about what I'm buying in plastic containers. I opt for glass when it's available because I know that I can reuse glass at my house. I reuse it for a lot of things, especially dry bulk goods. Um, so that's something that I can do a future video on. Um, and then lastly, recycle. Are we recycling right? Because <laughs> from a lot of the literature that I've read, we are not recycling right, guys. And there's a lot of contaminating uh, products that are getting in with the good recyclables that are deeming it not recyclable at all. So it's important to familiarize yourself, do your due diligence, and become familiar with what your local recycling facility process is. Because every state is different, every city is different, and they're, they're recycling different things. You know, in some states and cities, they don't recycle paper or glass. Luckily, I live in a city where they recycle all of it, which is amazing, and I'm super grateful for it. Now, in Denver, we're working on compost for every household, so stay tuned for that, my sustainable people. But there are so many reasons to become more eco-friendly, and um, it starts with mindfulness. Our oceans are filling up with so much plastic and trash, and every day, every single day, Americans use enough um, single-use plastic straws to wrap around the earth two and a half times. That is just insane because there are so many, there's so many alternatives out there now that we shouldn't be using plastic at all. Um, there's bamboo, there's glass, there's metal. I mean, there's just so many different straws. There's even paper, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the paper, but there's other things out there, people. Stop using plastic straws. So, um, let's just, oh, by the way, the shirt that I'm wearing, speaking of sustainability, it says save the oceans on it. It's by a, it's by a sustainable brand off of Instagram called Sand Cloud. Um, and I like them because not only is this shirt made out of 100% recycled water bottles, but it is also uh, a portion of the purchase will go back to marine life research. So I love supporting uh, business, business models just like this. So um, moving on in, let's get down to my list because that's what we're all here for, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's start in the bathroom. Instead of buying 
body wash that's in a plastic container, you might consider artisan soaps now. Um, usually when you buy a bar of soap, it's a lot better ingredients in it anyways. And it also gives you a, a, an opportunity to support local business. Even in my small hometown of like 5,000 people, there is, an, there is an artisan soap shop. So go support your local soap shop and stop buying a uh, body wash in plastic in plastic packaging. Secondly, this is more for my ladies out here, but we can swap tampons and um, and pads for either the menstrual cups or um, the period panties. I just recently tried a pair of period panties and girls, it is a fucking game changer. Like it is awesome. I didn't think that I would like them as much as I do, but this is my, my new way out for uh, zero waste when I'm on my period. Um, number three, we can swap our paper towels out for, um, for reusable ones. There's Etsy shops that will, uh, that, that do like these crafty paper towels. Um, there's another one that I'm using right now. I picked up at my local Ufill store. It's called Wet It. Um, I absolutely love that because it's made out of cellulose and you can wring it and reuse it and it's, it's just amazing. I highly recommend that. Um, and then if you're really like looking to do like totally zero waste, you can, um, you can do old t-shirts, rip up old t-shirts. You can go to your local fabric store and pick out a fabric that you like and then just roll them up and put them on your paper towel rack and then you have reusable paper towels. At a, um, at the very minimum, we should be using, um, if you're not into like the cloth paper towels, you can always consider the bamboo towels. Um, I know the company Grove Collaborative, they send, um, they have a lot of bamboo towels in their inventory. So check that out. Um, number four on my list is paper plates. Like guys, why are we still using paper plates when glass plates are a thing and they're much prettier anyways? It doesn't take too much longer to wash a dish than it is to throw, you know, throw your single use paper plate into the trash to go to the landfill. I mean, just because it's out of your sight doesn't mean that it's it just disappears. That is going to be sitting somewhere and taking a very long time to degrade. So just be an adult and get a, get a nice, nice set of dishes. <laughs> um, number five, swap reusable, um, or swap your plastic bags out for reusable bags. Um, you know, even when I go to the grocery store and sometimes I do forget my bag, I still don't use that as an excuse to take a plastic bag. Um, if for some reason, I absolutely do, I can't carry everything out or put it in my, my purse or whatever, um, then I will opt for a paper bag, but a lot of places are charging for this kind of stuff now. Um, so just bring your reusable bags to the grocery store. Everybody's doing it. Um, replace your plastic wrap with beeswax. Beeswax is great because you can reuse it over and over again and it's machine washable. Same for plastic bags. Um, you, can, you can do reusable silicon bags like the Stasher bags and they also have an Amazon brand if you're interested in that as well. Um, both of the bags that I just mentioned, the beeswax and the Stasher bags, they are machine washable. Um, so you can reuse them over and over again. Then we are gonna move on to reusable coffee cups and water bottles. I think a lot of people have caught on to that by now, but there's still a lot of people buying packaged water. So um, you might consider a reusable water bottle to reduce your plastic packaging waste. Um, and then K-cups are very uh, not recyclable either, guys. Um, I have a Nepresso, uh, machine it's it's kind of like the k-cup deal but nepresso you are able to recycle those pods at a store or even ship them back into nepresso if you're not a k-cup type of person um, you might consider supporting local business again and buying your coffee beans locally 
So those are just some of the sustainable hacks uh, that I thought that I would share with you all. I hope maybe you learned something. If you have any products that are noteworthy to what we talked about today, drop them in the comments below because I'm always looking to try new things um, and incorporate new, new sustainable products into my household. Um, so yeah, guys, I am so excited to get this journey started. Um, thank you so much. If you like what you see here, smash that subscribe button below and I will see you on a future episode. Later guys.